Welcome. This is Joshua Benoist in Autodesk Product Support. So this is video five uh, in our series where we're talking about how to use Parametric Part Builder to make multi-view uh, parts. So let's look at the problem statement. Pause the video if you need to to read this, and let's move on. Okay. So now we've come out the distance of half that body and then over half the length we need to go backwards and find the center point in case this guy's not going to be uh, dead center so let's draw more lines more paths uh, construction lines so anyway I'm going to come over this way about an inch even though most of the time those lines should be um, parallel with each other and then we'll come back this way a certain distance okay and the main reason I'm doing this is I want to get dimensions in here even though this distance here will more than likely be zero and this is going to be our center point so uh, with basically we get a dimension on this guy which allows us to say how off center is he from this center Uh, you may choose to do it differently. Maybe you just want to go from this point straight out here and then over there. Uh, depends on how your manufacturer cut sheets are set up. You know, what are you dimensioning from? So, uh, let's just uh, add in dimensions here now. Horizontal distance from here to there. Put them in right there. In our dimension values, so let's say the main body is um, four foot by two and a half foot. Now well, let's make it easy. Four foot by three foot. So that distance is half of three foot. Okay. Next dimension. Inner dimension value. Um, so let's say he's slightly off center by two inches, and this guy was four foot by three foot, so um, his center point is going to be at two foot. Two foot minus two inches is going to be one foot ten inches. Okay. Let's so add dimension, horizontal distance, from there to there. Put his dimension down there, inner dimension value. I'm going to call it one inch right now. And I'll explain why later. We, In our model, we need to be able to get the dimension in there. And later, we're going to come in and make it zero in the size parameters itself. So even though we'll see it off-center here in the model, we'll see it we'll fix it in the size parameters. So, let's go back and add the last dimension vertical from here to there. Dimension position, let's stick them over here. Dimension value was exactly two foot. There we go. So, what we want to do is um, let's create an offset plane now. <coughs> So come here, add work plane. I'm going to do an offset. Uh, I'm going to call this bottom plane okay. Select reference work plane is this guy. Select offset from work plane. We'll say he's down three foot. Okay, so let's go look at that in 3D real quick. So good. So you can see how here's our original plane. We drew all this stuff on the original plane. And then we offsetted this guy downwards. And 
what we'll do now is we're going to make a reference point right there. Uh, add geometry, point reference, right there. Oh, uh, you know what? I got to do that from this work plane. So actually, we should have gone to the bottom plane. Time.